hello everyone so today we are going to work on this uh, procedural race track laying system in unreal engine 5 so here now you can see these cars are following the path that i have defined now by procedural what i mean is i can change this track uh, like this let me here here we have spline points so i can move these points as i see fit and change the track so we can make changes basically here So you will have to this is the starting point that's why you sometimes see a gap there so yeah now i have changed the track from what i had before and then i can select the race manager clear checkpoint and place checkpoints and then if i simulate you will see the cars is still coming to the track here you can see the cars are coming to the go start racing from the closest point and start following the road so since i have designed this somewhat like a race they try to pass each other and so they run into crashes as well but we can reduce the speed and make them calm and uh, make them calmly follow the track so they will not drift away they will be much safer so yeah so this is what we are going to work on today and automatically laying out the road as i change this fly so this uh, tutorial is based on this series that i have done on ai driven cars there are multiple episodes to the date and i have covered many topics that covers how to implement collision avoidance ai dri driving and how to select the sides of the road how to drive on left drive on right and edit checkpoints nitrous a lot of stuff i have already covered and as always you can download a the project files of all those episodes in patreon page if you like link would be in the description below when you become a member not just this project you can download the project files of all thousands of projects that i have covered in my channel and use them in your games all right so with that said now let's get started so as of the last time we worked on the ai driven series car series so this road is actually based on this landscape spline so it's not tied to the race spline that we have so in here we have bp road this is where we have this spline but it's just a spline see so it does not have contain any of the meshes as for now but what we are going to do is we are going to get rid of this landscape spline and add the road mesh to this bp road spline itself now having the road as a lands landscape spline has some advantages too like you can deform the landscape underneath to match the road you can do things like that but here i'm not concerned of those things i just want to have a track that i can change and make the cars follow the track without having to do any custom modifications to the code they just follow the track with the modified path okay so first let me open the blueprint bp road by the way you it's not necessary for you to have watched other episodes here just to implement this procedural road component you can still follow the series if you are just interested in learning how to implement the procedural route okay now this is the mesh that 
was used in the landscape spline vector but here we have a little problem the pivot is here in this road component but in order to uh, implement a spline mesh actor uh, for the road it's better to have the pivot in the center so I have created this new mesh here the pivot is over here so it's easier for me to implement the spline mesh like this and here in the center we have a white strip as well so this is nothing special just a simple mesh if I enable wireframes you can see the polygons right now here I'll add a new function layers board. Now what we need to do is add in spline mesh components along the spline that we already have here which is this one. So we need couple of local variables. First one would be um, I'll call it place in distance. So this should represent the distance along the spline that we are currently laying the road mesh and another one uh, segment length. So this would be the length of one of the road meshes components along the spline. So something like 500. This should be by default zero because we are starting from zero. Now, from the spline, we can get length of the spline. So, in order to add the spline mesh component, we need two points: a starting point and end point of the spline. So, a spline mesh. So a starting point would be again get a reference to the spline and get location at distance along a spline and then the distance would be placing distance and this is a starting point and the end point would be get location at distance along a spline but the place in distance plus this segment length so this is the end point for one segment now in order to get values for these both points we need to make sure that this spline length is larger than the current place in distance plus segment length. Only if this condition is true, we can get valid values for these two points. Okay, now here let's have a branch to check if this condition is true and let's add spline mesh component so as the mesh here i'm gonna select this one this mesh and add it here so we don't need to give any transform values because we are going to set it so from this we can set start and end so start point position is this and position is this and for start tangent we can get direction at a distance along spline so direction is uh, distance is same as the above 
we need the same thing for the next point also right now this is the start tangent this is the end tangent now we have laid out first segment so in order to lay out the next segment we have to set the place in distance we have to increment the place in distance with the segment length plus current place in distance so add these two together and add it here and then do the same thing that means reconnect to this branch sorry we should not have route not and connect here another reroute node okay okay right and the uh, next thing is we just need to call this place road function from the construction script and if i compile now you have the road see uh, this part is underground maybe i need to lift this okay okay see now we have the road and uh, the cars are already going Wait, I have the player car over here. Yeah. Let me put this aside because I'm similarly not playing myself. So if I play. Oh, by the way, we have to adjust the starting point. So, oh, wait, cars are going over there. Um, right. So this road is smaller than what it used to be so but the lane width yeah so the cars are driving on right and we they have the lane width as 500 we might need to reduce this so to keep them in the road itself yeah right they are going on the road since they are racing they are going over the road as well but they are following this spline so if i want i can actually reduce their speed it's 40 now if i make it 20 they will be much better but uh, that's not our focus today so the rest next part is uh, well there is no next part let's adjust the road a little bit something like this and maybe this should need to go away so yeah and i have to select the race blueprint where is it race manager play checkpoint place checkpoint now checkpoints are replaced but rec checkpoints doesn't matter since i'm just simulating i'm not playing myself now if i simulate the car should still follow this updated road see 
this guy is coming in the updated part so yeah they are sticking with the road even if it is changed okay so that's all i wanted to do for today let's wait for these guys as well yeah they don't have a problem following the road so yeah that's it for today and hope you learned something as always updated project files will be available here link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye